Hi everyone. I'm here today to talk to you about confounders and causal links. So I've been getting a lot of questions about this, so I just wanted to show you another technique that one of our TAs came up with in office hours that some students have said is useful for distinguishing the two. So first of all, I just want to say that confounders do only occur in observational studies. Randomized controlled experiments do not have confounders, so we're going to specifically do an example of an observational study. And this one is about sunscreen and skin cancer. So I read an article a couple years ago and it basically said that people who wear sunscreen are more likely to get skin cancer. And right away I thought that sounds kind of strange. What is going on? I knew it was an observational study. They weren't assigning anyone to wear sunscreen. They were just observing something that people naturally did. So what we can do, I have three different um, things here that we have to decide. Are they confounders, causal links, or neither? And we looked at how to do this in class with the diagram. So here's just another diagram that might help you. So I want to figure out how are these two things related. So basically, I'm going to put each of these in this box and then kind of decide which way the arrows go. So instead of trying to predetermine which um, diagrams these go into, I'm just going to make my own. So with age, if I put age in here, it says that older people are more likely to get skin cancer. So I would have to decide how is age related to sunscreen based on what it says right here. It's not, right? How is age related to skin cancer? The older you are, the more likely you are to get skin cancer. So this one, because it has nothing to do with sunscreen, would definitely be categorized as neither. Age has to be neither. Let's check the next one. The next one is chemicals. So I'm going to erase this, erase my arrow, and kind of put my own arrows in. Um, chemicals, it says sunscreen contains many harsh chemicals that could lead to skin cancer. So if I put chemicals in here, chemicals in my box, I want to know, are the chemicals leading to people wearing sunscreen, or do people wear sunscreen and then get exposed to the chemicals? That's what's happening, right? It's the sunscreen, you put it on, you're exposed to the chemicals, so it's going that way, and then these chemicals are what cause you to get skin cancer. So this diagram, where both arrows are pointing towards the response, we know has to be the causal link. What about sunscreen? Is specifically causing the skin cancer, it's these chemicals. So chemicals would be our causal link. All right, last one is fair skin. I'm going to, again, I'm going to erase the arrows and I'm going to erase the old causal link. Now fair skin is what I want to put in this box, fair skin. So it says that people with fair skin are both more likely to wear sunscreen and get skin cancer. So again, I have to decide where do the arrows go? Does wearing sunscreen make you have fair skin? No, it's the opposite, right? If you have fair skin, you're more likely to wear sunscreen. And we know, and that's what they're saying, people with fair skin are more likely to wear sunscreen, and if you have fair skin, you are at a higher risk of skin cancer. So see how on this one, the arrows point in opposite directions. This has to be the confounder. Right, so hopefully that helps. This is basically the same thing as what we did before. What we did before was just draw the box and the arrows first. Um, here's the sunscreen. Here's our treatment. Here's our response, which is skin cancer. And then I would just put fair skin right in here. So fair skin is associated. If you have fair skin, you're more likely to wear sunscreen. And if you have fair skin, you're more likely to get skin cancer. So whichever way works for you is totally fine. I just wanted to make sure um, that everybody saw this just in case you were having any problems. So I'll see you guys next week in class.